Cool. But yeah, there we go. That's uh, that's, the mecha that's all of the mechanical bosses done. Uh, there are right. I w I was informed that there is one other boss that I that you're meant to do. I think like is it pre mechanical bosses, uh, which is hallowed base. So we might go down there and check that out. Um. Oh, there was something else that I needed to check out, wasn't there? Um. Uh, with the crystals to see if the actators work. Is that something we never checked? Uh, I need to make. Oh, we don't. We don't need recall potions. Let's be honest. We have a magic mirror, and almost a PDA. So, uh, right. Let's go down here. So we're going to take some time to grow now. So, who knows? But yeah, I didn't think the black spot was going to do as much as it did. <laughs> like, the pirate, the pirate ship mount is 10 out of 10. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Is that, is that grown on it? Oh, my God. Well, okay. Uh, if anyone wants to make a crystal farm, I know a great way to do it. If you add accutators to So, if you do this then add the, is it actators? It's something like that. The things that make it so you can turn blocks on and off, uh, like I just did there. If you put them along all of these and then do that, it'll break all the crystals, but then they will regrow when you turn it back on. Actuators, there you go. Same thing, it's close enough. So yeah, uh, I will grab a bunch more. Uh, I yeah, because I think it's I break this and it will summon it. I've got another one there just in case. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll get rid of like five of these probably. One, oh wait, let's look. One, two, three, four, five. It's possible to hear. Eh, probably. Also, I shouldn't be using my crystal bullets for this. There's armor polish. We still need vitamins, though. Which are from... Uh... Dungeon skeletons, right? Oh, all this time just doing all this and we're just getting rid of it. That's cool. Now your BFFs with Moonlord? I mean, it's not a bad idea. He is pretty. He is pretty chunky. So we do have plenty of crystal. I think we had like 60 last I checked, so. Oh, I should probably get rid of the uh, the water candle, shouldn't I? <laughs> That's something I never did. All right, I will say I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Uh, like the boss itself. Um, because I... I may have seen it on the wiki. But I don't know if it is this one specifically. Apparently the Dark Lads pops and noises that scare the Shelly. All of the Terraria ones or, or or the Minecraft ones? Or both. Oh. You have something I need. And you didn't give it to me. It's fine.
Oh. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, I thought I, I thought I had to break it. I didn't think. Oh, I, I didn't realize I could pick it up. Sure. Okay. So, yeah, so we have Queen Slime to deal with now, who's a legit thing in this game. Because he's just a beefed up version of King Slime, so... So I think we should be alright with this. Because what I might do... Yeah, if I get rid of, a, like, three more platforms, I should be able to use the Storm Bow. Uh, with Jester Arrows, which should... Or Holy Arrows, even. Should just destroy Queen Slime. Because it will kill all the little guys that it spawns as well. That's if I'm standing on the floor, anyway. New is uh, with the mob back, so... <laughs> Makes you want easy. Ah. Have you tried just murdering everything? That usually works for me. Actually, have you tried not dying? That usually works as well. That's always some good advice. I, I do want to make sure that I'm still in the hallow. I am cool. Because I'm I'm bleh, I'm gonna treat this like I would with Plantera, where if you leave the the biome, it screws you over. So. Second run of Discord. <laughs> ah. house hiding from a dog. I mean, that usually works. What I would usually do in that situation is then kill the dog while you're standing on top of the house. So it's, it's usually quite effective. Oh, that's, that's a ghosty ghost. Ah! Ghosts don't drop anything, do they? Hey, here we go. Why? Why is this being really slow? What? I think some of them are. Yeah, some of them are getting caught up on there. Let's do at least one, maybe two more. I need piercing, don't I? So. Boop. I think this is like my only piercing weapon at the minute. <sighs> we've got a lot of souls of light, which is good. Uh, we don't need tons because we've got like the keys and stuff now, so meh. But oh, we have the stormbow even. Uh, but souls of light are used for a few other things, so it's not actually a bad thing to do. Same kills dogs. Yep, you got me. Damn. Oh, speaking of which, uh, Hercules and Phoebe got their, uh, went to the groomers today, so they're extra soft and fluffy now. Uh, it's, it's very adorable. It wasn't like their full trim, so they're just sort of neatened up and everything. They are very soft, and it is adorable. Gonna try Brain of Cthulhu on ten times spawn. Have fun. Um, Frigid, how does that work? Uh, does it, like when you summon a boss, does it summon ten versions of that boss, or is it just like their minions are ten times? How's that? That's better. I think I think one more we should probably do it. spawn often. Oh, so it's not a mod. Oh. oh I thought I thought you I thought you're playing 1.3 modded with 10 times spawn. Oh, right. I didn't realize Journey might let you do that. Huh. Interesting. 
Sentais mean while you find the bosses of more enemies. Ah, okay, I'm with you. Well, have fun. <laughs> yeah, because being in the crimson while doing that isn't fun. Yeah, I, I should have killed it. It was my own fault. So I was sort of like, I mean, the pickaxe should be able to get rid of it, but whatever. <sighs> but yeah, once we get rid of this, uh, do we need any more platforms for this? Ah, uh, we shouldn't need to. We've, we've got another attempt if we need it, so. And we are slightly above where we should be for this. Because uh, with the Mega Shark and Hallowed Armor and stuff. But we'll see. Because what I can always do is uh, use the pirate ship mount uh, to do it. Yeah. I just stay up in the air and stuff. To try to bang the moon lord. Okay. I mean, he doesn't have a lower half, so I mean. You, 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 you've got your work cut out for you. I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm just saying. You, you, you have to think outside the box. Yeah, there we go. See, so yeah, if I'm. Uh, if I jump. Yeah, okay. If, 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 if I'm on the floor, if I fly up, yeah, it won't work. But for the most part, we should be able to use Stormbow. Right, uh, hmm. I still need, I think it's the Nazar is what they drop. Um, we can get them from Cursed Skulls, so it's not like I desperately need it from them, but I mean, it'd be nice. <laughs> uh, do I just put anything down here, like regen stuff wise? Probably not. Well, I'm half expecting this to be like, um, just the hard mode version of King Slime. So it's like, it's meant to be the first boss you do in hard mode. But then once you defeat any other boss, it's not exactly difficult. That's what I'm expecting, so. Uh, there's either people sitting there thinking, yeah, no, that's about right. And there's also some people that could be thinking, ha, what an idiot, he's in for a surprise. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Bit a bit of a mixed bag, <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, how many crystals do we have now? Queen slime is hell. Eh, we'll be fine. Can't be that bad, right? All right, how much uh, souls of light have we got? Uh, Forty. That's night. Forty. Okay. Oh, so we ran out of those. That's fine. Um, can't remember. I used them all. Took you six plus hours to beat it in multiplayer. Okay. Hardest part was finding it. Yeah, that's fair. Considering it is a random spawn. That one, that one, that one. Archery potion. Uh you know what I have I keep forgetting to do? Food. Where are those pumpkins? Uh, I keep going to make pumpkin pie, which I think is medium for four minutes or eight minutes even. Uh, oh, goodbye. Here we go. Uh, yeah, medium improvements to all stats for eight minutes and increase, increase life regen. There you go. 18. Perfect. Uh, put that there. Jester arrows. That was it. Or oh, holy arrows even. Uh, holy arrows. Oh, that's going to be more than enough. I would have thought. 
Uh, do I have any more? I don't. Cool. That's all we've got. That's all, <laughs> that's all we need then. <laughs> uh, right, let's put that there. Uh, are we fully healed? We are indubitably. Let's see how this goes then. It's fucking annoying. Hmm. I'm trying to think what they could have done to it. Projectiles, maybe? Ah! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Okay, maybe we do need some platforms and stuff. No hit is amazing. One thing I did notice is when is when it did its slam attack, does it do like a an area of effect thing? Cause I would dodge out the way, but I'd still be hit. So I don't know if I was being hit by an enemy or if it was doing like a shockwave thing. Uh yeah, that didn't overly go well, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I I still think the storm was probably the best thing to use with the holy arrows, because it was able to just sort of get rid of it. Got rid of a lot of other stuff, I think. Um, okay, let's get the uh, the platforms out, which are. Yeah, that was definitely an interesting one. I didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought I was going to do, which is slightly worrying. Um... Not entirely sure how I want to go about this. If that's the case. Oh wait, does she give you souls of light? I just suddenly thought that'd be kind of cool. Like that's why they got rid of the king slime thing, because the queen slime gives you souls of light. That'd be, that'd be nice. I think it was just the en uh, other enemies that were dying were giving it to me. Oh. Yeah. I can't remember what the uh, magical weapons can actually drop. If it's anything useful anyway. Because there's an Azar that I know of because I need that for uh, the Arc Shield. But I think, I think there is something else they drop and I can't remember what it is. doesn't get them. Oh, that's, a bit, that's a bit upsetting. Yeah, Richard, you said it took it took you guys six hours to beat this, or six plus hours in multiplayer. Alright, so I don't have to do boss and everything, but while I'm building, uh, I'm just putting platforms down for the uh, Queen Slime fight.
So then, like, if it does the slam attack, I can sort of jump out the way and stuff. And not, like, move into enemies all the time. Just to give me, like, a tiny bit of a buff. I'm only going to do, like, two, I think. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the, uh, uh, okay. That's, you know, that's, that's slightly worrying. Just saying. I had to make more holy arrows anyway. Hey, sword. Good to see you. Good to see you. I hope you do well. Welcome to Devs want nothing to do with master mode. That's understandable. Uh, oh, and Sword, uh, we've done all the mechanical bosses, and I must admit, uh, the twins were easier than Skeletron Prime. Because uh, the Skeletron, Skeletron Prime was actually able to hit me, so. It's kind of dark. Yeah, I'll put torches down in a minute. They were both jokes, yeah. Oh, yeah, Grass, I, I, I understand what you're trying to do. Uh, and I appreciate it. But I am going to put some torches down here, I think. Uh, I, that's what I was going to do. And now you're making me question myself. Uh, master mode is a mode that I will not be reworking Calamity 1.4. Uh, it's so bad I don't really want to be bothered. Uh, I, really bothered. I really hope Relogic changes it at some point. I mean, okay. Who here thinks they're actually going to change master mode? Not, I hope they do. Who actually thinks they're going to change it? Uh, I should use another light source. What's wrong with torches? What is wrong with torches? Yeah, then they will. Uh, the vibe is that I, I think that's the one that Frigid posted in Discord. I'm guessing. Hey, fan, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Being too vague. Like, okay, at the minute, from what people have said, I'm guessing. It does something with torches. Like, if you have torches down, then it uses them against you or something. That's my thought. Which, if it's true, is super cool. But. I was just gonna do this. rock thrown at me. It's known for no hits in death mode. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's, that's fair. Oh, I see. You're on, oh, you're on about just me doing it above ground. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't be bothered by much stuff. You've got a point. <laughs> I mean, we were oh, okay. Wait, no, we were getting attacked by a lot of stuff underground. Uh, okay. Die customer, what? <laughs> uh, I need actual arrows, right?
Are you fucking serious? Okay, what are we looking from this then? Uh, the Murloc thing yeah, that turns you into a into a ocean person. Uh, vampire knives. Vampire knives would be good. Can we get vampire knives yet? I don't know. I don't think so. Your police officers in Germany found dead in a bush. That doesn't sound good. Comes in biome chest. They drop from vampires. Change my mind. <laughs> oh, so we have to kill Plantera before we open chests, don't we? Like the biome chests. Not get to it, right? Pretty good. Shut up here. Oh, right. <laughs> Say what? Wow, look at all these cool drops that we've got. Woo! Look at them, look at them go. Look at all the fun items we've obtained. Like, wow! Look at them! There's, there's so many. I'm not gonna have enough storage. Oh, thank God. Okay, we've got, oh, we've got the, we've got the, ooh, okay. Neptune shell, that was it. So we should now be able to make the combined thing. Say vampires are the worst thing, right? We haven't unlocked spheres, I don't think. Nor have we unlocked like pinhead and stuff, so. Or the butcher. Or the psycho. <laughs> yeah, I think vampires are the highest thing we've got at the minute. So I mean this wasn't a worst uh, like a this wasn't a bad time for this to happen. Uh. Oh no, we've got cyborgs, never mind. Cyclops, whatever his fucking name is. Drop anything though. Oh shit, have I been using. Oh, I've been using holy arrows for my shadow flame bow. Whoops. <laughs> That's not good. I don't mean to go farm unicorns, it looks like. Jesus Christ, since when can you spawn? Okay. Didn't realize Mothron could spawn b before Plantera, but I think it's uh, their drop table changes, right? So you get better stuff when Plantera's dead. The Mothron, I'm guessing. I think. Yeah, completely forgot Mothron was a thing. Ooh, Mothon's wings would be really good here.
Ah, ah. 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 I've only gotten one drop so far, which is really upsetting. I would have thought these guys would have given me something else, so, like, by now. Can these guys give me anything? I, I thought so. I'm used to having, like, loads of crap on the floor when doing these, but... Maybe I've just never done one before Pantera. It's been a while since I've done one before Pantera, even. It's 10 a.m., great. We are nowhere near finishing. <laughs> Actually, wait, can you sleep through a solar eclipse? Because I know you can't do it for blood moons, but we'll just do it for solar eclipse. Piercing, technically. We really should have gone melee, shouldn't we? <laughs> we keep getting so many like decent melee weapons. Like it's ridiculous. I suppose we did get this bow, didn't we? So this bow is pretty good. Uh, Fridge, what were the uh, the hate comments about, by the way? Uh, I'm intrigued. So I, I know uh, if it's the video that you posted in Discord, I know roughly what it's about. It's about uh, how Relogic can fix mass mode and stuff. Hey, host, which is stick around. Hope you yourself, and we'll hope to see you again soon. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Just get good. Oh, uh, it's stuff I left. Of course it was. Oh, yeah, mass mode's not that hard. God, you just have to be good at the game. Guarantee if you look at that person's like death record or whatever, uh, they, they, they probably died numerous times. There's some creative ones. I mean, how, how could you go wrong with the classic get good? <laughs> but I, I must admit, like. Like I'm not saying we're sorted because we will like once we once we get done to Plantera, uh, like we are gonna have probably a bit of an issue. But like this invasion, like we're we're not doing too badly. Or well, this event even, not an invasion. Like, we we were doing relatively well. Died what once when Mothman spawned. Oh, and host with another host. Granny Push, thanks for the stream. So it didn't pop up because you've already done it today. Or recently as well. Past an uh, hour or so. Wow, that does not do as much damage as I hoped it would. Time is it? I must admit, we are getting a lot of money out of this. We're at 68 gold. Yeah. Uh, 2 p.m. When does this finish? Is it 5? Hey, Joey. Good to see you again. Oh, do well. Wow. Calling me out. I see how it is. Like, I've already done it, it's fine. 
Whoa. Yeah, hey, Joey, how you doing? Oh, and how's the, uh, the, ooh, uh, the it, uh, poster, I guess? Art started the drawing thing that you're doing. It's not really a poster. Collage, I guess. Thank you! Uh, you good? Ah, oh, awesome to hear. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, we've just finished the mechanical bosses. As you can see, we've got the, uh, lovely relics down there. We, uh, steamrolled both twins and... Uh, Skeletron Prime. Like, completely, it was great. Um, but yeah, nah, it's going pretty well. Yeah, can't complain. And she with the gift of something. Joey! Greatly appreciate Thanks for the stream. And hey, Joey, enjoy. Ah, oh, no, my gold! Bollocks. I know you got, you got approved. Oh my god, that is adorable. That is totes adorable. I mean, it's not as cute as, like, Luna, Herc, or Phoebe, but I mean, it's pretty fucking cute. No, I got, I got one of my gold back. Yay. Uh, fuck, nah, I fucked it. I think one of them had my, the rest of my gold on them. Oh, well. They were like, you're so oh. gifted stuff. Oh, yeah. Ugh. 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 God, I should not have gone to bed at four in the morning. I mean, what? Oh my god, this Cyclops does not want to leave leave me alone. Fucking hell. Fuck. I don't have a real cat emote. No, uh, so the reason why I've got Hercules and Phoebe as their own faces um, is because I made them. Like, I photoshopped the heads out and everything. Um, and, uh, I didn't do, I never got around to Lunas until, um, uh, Angelic, uh, Angelic agreed to do the emotes for me. Um, or I got them commissioned, uh, and stuff. Uh, so I just thought, instead of just doing Luna's normal face, which, she's not the biggest fan of getting her pitch taken, um, because she, uh, like, whenever you get a picture of her, she's usually sleeping, so, um, uh, what I ended up doing is just getting, uh, Luna done first, uh, as a, as a little cartoon emote thing. Yeah. Yeah, the picture ones will be the first ones to go when, uh, if we get some new ones going. I, I, I need to talk to Angelic about that, because, um... Uh, we could, we could do some more. Or your animal emotes. Oh, god damn. They are pretty good, though. Oh, my god. I fat-fingered my right-click by accident. Oh, yeah, they're all the, uh, pockin' ones. Did anyone here properly play pockin' out of curiosity? Either on Wii U or Switch. Out of curiosity. Because I got it on Wii U... Did I get it on launch? I got it quite close to launch, I remember that. But I never really played it. I never probably got into it, which is... Probably a shame? I'd say it's probably a shame. Party time's over. Yeah, yeah, Pockin. It's the it's the crossover between uh, 
Pokemon and Tekken. So it was the fighting style of Tekken. So you'd um, uh, it was like a one-on-one -on -one fight, um, where the Pokemon themselves do like actual punches and kicks and flamethrowers and stuff like that. Um, like it, it's it was a really fun idea and really cool. Um, I mean they they ported it to the Switch, so people liked it. Um, but yeah, I just never really got properly into it. Yeah, like a lot of stuff. Oh, we got platinum, nice. Uh, like a lot of stuff on the uh, the Wii U, it's uh, underrated, probably the good way to put it. Right, so this can be fused with something, I think. Uh, yes, it can. Yeah, the moon shell. So this makes it so uh, the uh, so when we're wearing it, we turn into a werewolf at night and a murloc when entering water, which is quite nice. Uh, you mean Weevil on the Switch? Fair enough. I I never like I didn't play it enough to get a main. Uh, I think I did like the. F did I finish the first area on, on the on the story? I don't think I did. Oh, the story like the single player was like just tournament stuff. Um. Uh, you go try and learn the any percent uh speed run for Breath of the Wild. Hey, good luck with you, Grass. Uh, let us know how you get on. Cause that uh does sound pretty fun. But uh, for, from what I know, the any, any percent is pretty complicated. What you should learn is the 100% with all the Korok seeds. That would be pretty fun. <laughs> uh, right. Because, yeah, then this goes into like a celestial thing, which makes it so we do more damage, I think. Yeah, the celestial shell, which makes it so we turn to a werewolf at night in a Merlock and water. Uh, minor increase to damage, melee speed, critical strike chance, life regen, defense, mining speed, and minion knockback, which is great. Uh, we do need the Celestial Stone, though, which is uh, the Sunstone from Gollum and the Moonstone from someone else. Can't remember, though. Right. What was I doing? I was looking up the soda eclipse. <laughs> Terraria. Thank you. <laughs> Good to say it's like 70% of the time. Uh, and I've been at once. Uh, Grass, uh, how many runs have you done, just out of curiosity? Because um, I know when it comes to uh, speed running, like one of the main tips I've always heard, like when you're starting out, is don't worry about your time just do full runs just so you learn everything and then once you like because you'll uh, you'll start getting better as you go um because you'll start getting like uh gold splits in certain places as well so although if you don't beat like say you don't beat your overall time uh then you'll still get like gold splits here and there so you'll get better at certain sections whereas if you keep resetting from the get-go you'll get really good at the at the start but really bad at the end. Um, so, like, all your runs will just sort of drop off really quickly. And then you're spending, like... How long's Breath of the Wild? Any percent? Like, an hour, I think? Something like that? Um, actually, what is it? Uh, Speedruns... <laughs> 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, any percent is 27 minutes, 16 seconds with no DLC and with Amiibo. Okay. With no Amiibo, it's 28 minutes. But these people that have done numerous runs, <laughs> six hours. There you go. Yeah, I, I, I would say just keep doing full runs and don't worry about getting like world record straight away or whatever. Um, just go at your own pace and just slowly get better over time is is what I've seen people say. Um right. Uh okay, so you get these normally, then after the mechanical bosses, that's when Mothron spawns. Right, okay. 
then after Plante, you get the Butcher, Deadly Spheres, Dr. Manfly, Nailhead, and Psycho, right. Which, given they have desktop console... Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, oh, no, you get the Moonstone from Vampires. That was it. Uh, so we do need those. And Broken Bat Wings. That would have been really good. Um, Ice Spring doesn't do anything. We've got the Neptune Shell. Uh, oh, yeah, they're both from... Oh, we got Broken Hero Sword would be nice for later. Um, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. So, Moonstone would have been good. Because, um, yeah, this mixed with the Sunstone, which you get from Golem, I believe. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's really good. And then it goes into that. A lot of fun uh, sub-runs. Yeah, uh, a lot of Nintendo stuff does have pretty good uh, sub-runs. I, I, I know uh, Mario Odyssey has... Is it Nipple Percent or something? Uh, where... You, it's a, it's literally a speed run to see how quickly you can get him shirtless, which I think is in the uh, is it the seaside kingdom. I can't oh like the beach kingdom, you know, with the uh, uh, yeah, yeah, nipple percent. I thought so. Yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. <sighs> the war cattle, no, why not? Uh, right, what were we doing? Queen Slime, that was it. So we'll head back over there. Uh, where are we? Oops. uh we'll grab the because we've got one more shard down there to pick up. So, Let's try speed running Terraria. Eh, I'm not that good, just normally, so I think the speedrun will go very well. Uh, especially because you have to use, like, glitches and stuff, which I'm not a fan of, like, like the idea of duping everything. I, I, I always like to go at my own pace and everything with Terraria, so. I have thought about speedrunning games before, um, but never gotten, like, actually far enough to actually do them. Uh... I you break it then, okay, I'm with you. So it's not like a Crimson Heart deal where it's, oh, you broke it, now deal with the consequences. Ah. Uh, Thirty-six minutes, two plays, thirty-nine minutes, goddamn. Yeah, uh, games I've been looking into were uh, Ratchet and Clank 2, I thought would be quite fun. Um. Uh, Resident Evil 5 would have been a cool one, because uh, I, I, for some reason, love Resident Evil 5. Like, it's, it, I, I understand that people don't like it because it's not a good Resident Evil game, but as it was my first Resident Evil game, like, I didn't have that sort of attachment to it. But yeah, I'm, I, I mean, Resident Evil 5 is just a meme at this point. Uh, uh. You know what? Next emote needs to be a needs to be a Chris emote. Just Chris, <laughs> just, just that with like a boulder or something. Fucking Chris. But it, it it's so like it, it it it's a pretty basic game, I guess. It's not in it, too in depth, but I mean, I I just love the idea of running around with an infinite ammo rocket launcher, and just blowing everything up. I enjoyed that bit. That was fun. Uh, but then I've I've never played. Uh, oh no, sorry, no, I've never finished. Uh, Resident Evil Four. Uh, I played it very briefly. Like if you've got my Steam account, it will be like, oh, I played for three hours or whatever. Might not even be that. Um. Yeah, I've not. Uh, really giving it much of a chance, so I, I go back and do that, because that'd be quite fun. Because I know that started the uh, over-the-shoulder point of view. Have I played... I have no idea what that is, Grass, so no. <laughs> I have not. <sighs> do 
Do I want... Do I want platforms? Typing be like, yeah. Are we racing on a Re Resident Evil 4? I've not played Resident Evil 4, so no. <laughs> Six gold? You Are you having a fucking laugh? Actually, wait. Do you get increased life regen by being in bed? I actually think you do. Huh, you totally do. I suppose it speeds up time, doesn't it? So that makes sense. Yeah, but neither, so it's fair. Oof. Yeah, but that means we have to do it in one sitting, unless we agree to stop where we are at like a five hour mark, which would be where I would finish streaming and stuff. Hmm. Uh, oh, have I played Det uh, Detroit Becoming Human? I, for some reason, thought that's what you were trying to say, but I thought, well, no, because it's one word. Um, I haven't. I, I've not played... I've actually, I, yeah, I've not played any of those games. I've not played, like, Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, or Detroit Becoming Human. Detroit, uh, I, I've always been interested in them. Um, I watched a playthrough of Heavy Rain, though, so I know, sort of, the mystery answers and stuff like that. Um... But no, I, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I always wanted to get to it. I, I, no, I think, yeah, Detroit Becoming Human was on PlayStation Plus, right? So I think I might actually have it. Do that at some point. It's not, not a terrible idea. Oh, but speaking of, uh, games and stuff, uh, like, that seem cool. Oh, speaking of which, speed running. That would be an awful one to do. Um, as I was talking about this in, in sub chat last night, um, and we, we've spoken about it before on stream, um, but I forgot to follow it up. Um, how, uh, would anyone here be interested in a playthrough of Lego Dimension? Lego Dimensions, even. Um, so I've mentioned before that I have almost all of it, like all of the, all of the figurines and stuff. Um, because for those that don't know, it's the Toy to Life one, so like Disney Infinity and stuff like that. Where you have like a physical like pad that you put the characters on and switch them around and stuff. Um, I do have most of it, so I know I can I can like a hundred percent everything. Um, Skylanders, but Lego, yes, yeah, pretty much. Skylanders and nostalgia. How old is Skylanders? I, I always class Skylanders as a, as a new thing. I never really played Skylanders. Actually, no, I never played Skylanders. 2011. I still hate that they called it Spyro's Adventure. I think that's why I never played it. was because they, they, they massacred my boy. <laughs> And I could never forgive them for that. Um, right, we need holy arrows, right? But you know, so it's just a thought, because I know it's a fairly niche game, so I wasn't sure how many people would actually be uh, interested in it, so just thought I'd ask. So some people said that, uh, like in sub chat, people were saying that uh, it sounded pretty cool and that they did uh, look into it. So, oh yeah, no, I know, I know. There's like tons more because they got rid of the whole Spyro thing after the second or third game, I think. Because they realised, oh yeah, no, maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> And yes, it was a bad idea. Uh, Jester arrows, holy arrows are pixie dust and unicorn horn. Don't know if we have any unicorn horn. Which is kind of annoying. We don't in there. We have a lot of pixie dust though. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab the uh, blue candle. We're going to go spend some time in the hallow. Gives me unicorn horn. Do I like the new Spyro game? As in the Reignited Trilogy? 
so the OG uh, Spyro games that just got a lovely coat of paint put over them. Uh, if so, then well, yeah. <laughs> I I I grew up playing the Spyro games, and they they did a, a bang up job with the uh, uh, Reignited trilogy. They really did. B giant stealth elf, trigger happy, and sonic boom were your favorite. Oh, for the characters, I'm guessing. I was like, Sonic Boom? That's a that's a bad game. <laughs> also, why are things not spawning? Like, I'm I'm in the hallow. Uh, I, I I have the blue the water can water candle effect. So... You yeah, you gonna come fight me or? <laughs> Take that as a no. Hey, there we go. Ah, stun locked. Hey, Cyber Money, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Sorry, there was PvP in Skylanders? What? <laughs> How in depth was this whole thing? I'm what? Full up. Oh my gosh, I remember decapitating Spyro with one of your giants. The fuck's wrong with you, dude? What? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> he's he's just a he's just a little dude just trying to have some fun. Okay, that sounded weird. <laughs> Is it, uh, Cold Dude? Is that how you pronounce your name? Hey, welcome stream. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I haven't let put your name too badly. In the game? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't think you, like, physically, uh, like, in real life decapitated a real life purple dragon with a giant. <laughs> I understood that much. <laughs> oh, you see, we don't have a giant. Wow. Oh, rude. Uh, right, yeah, it looks like, yeah, this isn't going up here, but, okay, I was right, that isn't too close, it's fine.